Hello, I am NovaSC, and I'm going to be bringing you a pretty cool game I played on. Ooh, what's this one called? King Sejon Station. It's PVT, and it's quite a close one and fairly interesting to watch, so I, and I hope you agree. So, my opponent here is a barcode with many, many I's or L's, just, you just can't tell. And I'm in the top left. Who cares? And to confirm that, we have names. We have a massive name board. Might keep this up this time. Sometimes I don't keep it up, but I don't know. It looks nice and fancy. I might do that this time. But nah, it's in the way. Keep get rid of it. So <laughs> um, I'm going to be going. I think I can't. A minute. A minute. I'm just trying to remember. I think I went for an Nexus first in this build. Obviously, we're going to see exactly what I did. Um, maps where I'm not. I don't like going for um, proxy oracle. I tend to Nexus first. Um, you can proxy oracle from here. Or equally here. So that's quite a cool thing to do. I might try that one day. I haven't tried that before. So, definitely something to try out in the future. Uh, my Terran opponent. Nothing really to gleam to analyze here. Just going for the straightaway down, the supply depot. The only thing I can assume from this is that he's not really going to be hiding any tech because when players hide their tech, they usually go um, supply depot, barracks, supply depot. This is probably going to be a Reaper opener when they open like this. In fact, I usually just assume, as soon as I walk in and I see no wall, I usually assume it's a a Reaper expand until, unless I see otherwise. Because that's by far the most common thing to see. And of course that barracks is coming in at a fairly regular time. I haven't expanded, I haven't um, taken a gateway yet, so that is going to be my expand. Soon after a gateway is going to come, and I just need to Chrono Boost the Zealot out so that I can repel a Reaper in time for my Stalker to arrive. <clears throat> Refinery's, Refinery's happy getting his gas. We'll see if he's just going for a Reaper, if he pulls out those um, guys that have gas. A um, very nice thing for a Terran to do is to pull, a, pull out, out of gas um, when they've mined maybe 50 or 100 gas so that they have enough money to expand a bit faster. I've seen players um, just mine 100 so that they have an extra 50 gas to get a reactor which will allow them to produce um, marines a bit faster so that they can defend that expansion a bit more easily. Though it's not really needed against me as I've gone for a really economic play. Creeper coming out from him. And that's going to be able to push back my, my scout. Luckily I saw that expansion. If he didn't kill my probe here I'd be able to possibly harass this um, ex ex um, SCV building the expansion, so it's good that he's killed that off. It's also good for me because it gives me a bit more time, it delays his Reaper a bit so that I can get my Zealot out. Very risky the Nexus first opening, but it very rarely um, gets you into an unsalvageable position, as long as you handle bunker rushes and etc very well. And I usually hands all the bunkers pretty good. Trying to micro my best against this Reaper. Actually killing one, which is a big mistake. If I'd have sent the probe over to this mineral patch, I would have probably not been sniped like that. Oh no! Losing two, that was, that was pretty annoying. Um, so the whole three workers have been killed. Any more than that, and then that Reaper has done far too much damage. I mean, three is the most you can probably get away with. Um, I'm expected to lose a few probes considering I've got such a late stalker. But yeah, I definitely could have done that a lot better and um, kept another probe alive. Mudshot Core coming out straight away. I get the Mudshot Core, then the Warp Gate. The Warp Gate isn't as important as getting that Mudshot Core out really quickly so you have a photon overcharge so that you feel nice and safe and maybe poke out of your units and scout without worrying about dying instantly to a Stim's Marine army just coming in, killing you. Stalker on, on the high ground defending my main, whereas the Mothership Core defends my natural probes. Walling off somewhat at the back, with like another pile on there really. Um, but the problem with doing that is, is, and um, placing the third pile on here is that you don't really have any surface area to build buildings and that becomes really frustrating to deal with. As long as I have this, I do have this partial wall off here so it made it a bit easier for me to get a few extra pot shots on the Reaper, though it did still survive, which is unfortunate. 
I sent my Zell over just to check that he wasn't going for some sort of all-in and that expansion was a fake. Um, I like sending the Zealot because it doesn't notice. It does see if he's gone for a fast third. You can get a judge of how many units he's making. Every now and then, they won't have a bunker. They'll go really greedy and skip the bunker, at which point you might be able to kill an SCV or a Marine. Which is nice. Nice pickup. And I finished off that Reaper. I think after he killed another worker, though. Yeah, he's killed an extra worker, which is a 9. I'll throw in more gateways, so that's going to keep me um, prepared for any sort of weird timing with these marines. I'm not intending to build out of these. And then I'm going to add on Double Forge. I mean, um, Double Forge is, I think it's slightly later than most processes do it now nowadays, but I'm being extra safe. Um, and I've taken these gases really early, so can't be too crazy getting everything as fast as possible. I hope it's still sitting on just two, the standard two barracks. Um, he's going for double engineering by upgrades. I don't think he's seen the forges. No, I've just thrown those down, so he can't have seen those. But he's still going for the double engineering bays, which is a good idea. Um, it would make sense for me to throw down a double forge at this point because I've invested all this money in getting a big economy, and a big economy means a lot of units. And if I have a lot of units, I might as well get double upgrades. So he has a single bunker. Um, he might be planning to push out with those, because he's getting those medivacs in right now. I mean, it's quite a nicely timed medivac, actually, if he starts building them. Um, which I'm hoping he will do when it reaches 200, there we go. Time that quite nicely, so that he wouldn't have a single one popping out and then waiting for the second one, which is interesting. Um, he's still on two barracks, which is interesting as well. I swear Terran's usually out on more barracks now. Maybe he's doing going to do that while he pushes out, or something. Um, he's going to be moving up with plus one. Plus one armor is going to be finishing up soon as well. I don't have my plus one finished just yet, but I will have plus one plus one earlier than his plus one plus one, if that makes sense. Okay, so he's going to go for a third really fast, which is a nice play, because I don't really have much of a way to put pressure on, on him if I'm at home defending against this ball of, ball of uh, marines and marauders. I have to use the frozen overcharge, and I'm going to have to use my gateway units as well, because... Otherwise, even if the boson overcharge is going, he might be able to kill quite a few probes. Three extra gateways going down. And these are three extra gateways are to deal with the big 10 minute timing pushes of medivacs, which is which is what I'm seeing right here. So now that these, finishing, these guys are finishing up, I'm going to be more than safe against this aggression. I just need to lose as little units as possible here. As few units as possible. And I need to make sure I repel this quickly so that I can expand because my opponent's taken the third and I have seen that. I can just confirm that I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it with that observer that I have patrolling around. He's coming in from both sides, which is a nice play. Um, unfortunately for him, I have vision of my entire base because I've placed structures all over the place. Um, and I see warped in. Um, high temperature on a few units are going to be able to shut that drop down really nicely. Photon of the goes on down on my natural, I think. Yes, it's going to do that. Oh, but he's going to be able to focus down a few pros, which is really nice by him. Good thing I didn't keep my ascend my entire army up to deal with that other drop. I kept them on the ramp while sending just a few units out here. Uh, he did kill off a few more units to see how many he killed. It. Back five or six, I think. Um, that Reaper killed. I think that Reaper killed four. <laughs> so that would have been six more kills, which is quite bad actually. I could have. Um, micro those probes away, but I guess I was um, busy defending against that drop. Um, Storm coming out from the Templar archives. I know that I need to splash damage as quickly as possible, and I have a lot of High Templar anyway. Um, I get the High Templar out before the Storm because they're useful as Archons, but I'm not only going to make them into Archons if absolutely necessary when he attacks me. So because I haven't made them into Archons, when the Storm finishes up I'm going to have loads of Storms ready. I know he's only on two bases. I've got all bases controlled with these observers. These observers are also really nice to see incoming drops. Plus two, plus two coming from me now. He's sitting on 2 1. He's going to have 2 2 as well. I'm going to be way ahead of him in the 2 2, but again, he's got the first arm, um, weapon upgrade faster than me. Another a drop coming in as I push out, which is going to be frustrating to deal with, but I have enough gateways. I'm sitting on 7, adding on 2 more, so not to 9 gateways, which is more than enough, um, as long as I keep a few gateways open um, in preparation for the drops. And I've got, got a few cannons to get out of that, so I've got just 3 cannons and the 2 more at the natural. I'm going to try and focus down the Templar archives. 
Uh, he might actually manage it, but not without losing a few units here. Actually, sort of seven HP. He just barely finishes it off, which is really annoying for me. I'm just going to throw another one down there. Um, and I, at the end of the day, it's just 200 minerals. So I mean, 200 gas, which I've lost, but I'm not going to be able to make um, defensive high templar for a while. I'm not going to be able to make high templar ready for a previous for the next attack. I split up my high templar nicely here, just to ensure that you can't EMP with them all. Try and feed back a few um, ghosts as well. That's a nice storm as well. I think that might kill off a medevac really good. Um, but my army isn't strong enough to deal with his marine and marauder, even though it, I think it was probably bigger than his. It's bigger in gas, but it's probably due to high templar actually. So, roughly even in army, but without the storm, I can't really contend with a Terran army with all those medevacs. Though they were pretty weak. Mm, I could have maybe have taken that army, but it would have been really risky. Much better to sit back on my third base. Income favouring my opponent, but that's probably because of mules, no? Yep. Favouring my opponent because of mules, favouring the gas because I have the gas at the natural, whereas he doesn't. And gas is going to be so more, much more important for me, because I'm Protoss, and Protoss love their gas units. Two Archons, a few High Templar, I would like some more High Templar, but I know that he has the Ghosts out already, so I'm going to start working on some Colossus, getting the range. Even a Dark Shrine coming in, that would be a weird place to put that. There we go, it's much more sensible. Um, Dark Shrine going to come in, so that will allow me to put some pressure back on. And Dark Templar are one of the best defensive tools against against any race, really. So if he drops, I can make a Dark Templar and help fend that off. Makes a lot. In the late game, you shouldn't really be taking any damage from Terran drops unless they're doing these big dream drops. Little little harassment techniques should should not really do you any damage. You have the potential to warp in Zealots and DTs and High Templar off your huge numbers of gates. I'm sitting on... Oh, it's going to be going up to... Um, 13, I think. 13, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, um, 13, yeah. 12? <laughs> 13, yeah, there he is, 13th. His army's moving out, and much stronger than mine, especially in minerals. Oh, good god, that's pretty damn scary. Actually, press the wrong button, yeah. <laughs> he is much stronger than mine. It was continuing to, uh, to give him a massive economic advantage, even though my gas was up a lot earlier than him. His army's going to be a lot stronger than mine. Um, I'm not going to quite see that. The observer's going to see it just a bit too late. I would like to be in the position a bit earlier than this. His army's ready to do a lot of damage, actually. Two, um, two ghosts ready, or four ghosts ready. I have Colossus, I have Storm. So, ideally, I should be fine, but... He cloaks, scans to get rid of observers, and that's a really good EMP. I have only one... S I have two storms left, one storm. That's all the storms gone, and he's going to damage the, the um, High Templar, um, the Colossus as well. They don't have any shields left, oh my god. And this is probably the best sort of engagement I could take, but it's not going to be... not be going to be effective. It would be much better if, obviously, the, the Zealots were down here flanking, but... It was nice having my Colossus on the high ground, but unfortunately I'm going to lose because I didn't have any storms and my army wasn't strong enough to defend that. My upgrades are going to be probably favouring me, but it's just not enough. He has way more units than me. Oh no, I don't. I'm not. It's not favouring me, the upgrades. Damn. He's done pretty damn good here. I warp in some DTs. Apologies for the lag. I hope you. I hope that wasn't too apparent on the video. I think perhaps it was lagging the video a bit. Very nice storm. I'm warping in some emergency high templar to uh, make sure I don't, this doesn't kill me completely. I'm probably going to lose my fourth. But uh, hopefully that's not all. Oh, actually, I might not lose my fourth. Apologies for that. My um, computer just sort of slowed down completely and uh, I wasn't able to watch the video, which is really nice. But back into the game, I'm trying to struggle to defend my fourth base here. I don't think it will um, pay off. He seems to just have endless streams of units, and my warpings don't seem enough. These are helping immensely. Um, he doesn't really have enough scans, I don't think, to, to continuously kill them off. Um, to kill, um, just as a finishing move, you might even consider building a raven or something like that. Sounds stupid, though. But he has way too many units for me to defend. 
I've made some High Templar, I believe, or have I? Now I'm making some High Templar. I need some way of dealing huge amounts of area of effect damage to um, allow me to stay in this game. His income's going to be far ahead of mine. Not, not too bad. It's not too bad at the moment. Um, he's only just settling into this fourth, so he, I'm not too far behind, it seems. I'm producing t a cost at a time. A few more High Templar. DTs, so I'm going to have at least one DT in each army to, to force him to waste scans so he doesn't get too far ahead. Um, observers are seeing the movements of his army. I really need to not lose this third or I'm going to fall way behind. I'm only struggling to stay um, afloat at the moment. I have, I think, quite a few storms ready. Three storms and working on a fourth storm. Oh, he's focused down at High Temple, but that was a massive, massive storm. Um, merging those into, into Archons. Almost have enough for another storm, but that dies. And Kloss is going to be enough to finish this and push it back. And somehow I survive. Um, Archons are going to be enough to clean up those Vikings. And I lost that third, so I'm going to be behind in this game now. Unless I find some way of putting pressure back on. I do have the DC Shrine. I don't have any Warp Prisms. Um, I, of course I have the... But I don't even have a Mothership Core, do I? I don't I haven't produced the Mothership Core yet, so... The only way I have to put pressure on at the moment is... DTs, um, and I haven't made any of those aggressively yet. I have two DTs in an army, which seems excessive, and I have no way of engaging that, unfortunately, because of Planetary Fortresses being very good and he having high ground advantage. So I need some way of coming back into this game. I need to take my fourth so that I can catch up. He hasn't fully saturated this still, so if I take my fourth. Saturate it quickly, I might have a way of coming back in the game. As you can see... <laughs> I am quite a way behind. 50 supply behind almost. And... It's it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I have a few High Templar, I have the Colossus, so I have the essential area of effect damage that I need to keep me in the, in the game. But it's going to be a struggle and I need some way of putting pressure back on. Cannons seeming a bit redundant now, but there they are. <laughs> um, I'm cannoning up this base. I need to make sure that I just do not lose this base. I probably should do... It wouldn't be an overreaction to put maybe three cannons here. Observer luckily not being being seen. Um, I'm going to use my High Templar to try and deal with these ghosts. Two feedbacks going on those. Those ghosts are going to be useless now. Unfortunately my High Templar is too. And now I'm making some DTs. DT came in, and is going to be shutting down that fifth base. Yeah, if he takes the fifth base, I'm going to be even further behind. <laughs> I can't let him have that. And I'm going to be cutting down on this base. I wonder if he sees it. I wonder if he sees it. Has he seen it? That doesn't show up on the minimap, does it? When I'm knocking down those rocks, so he hasn't seen that. And I'm moving in at the at the at his fourth. Dropping some storms to hit the oncoming units and I've managed to take us down the fourth so the income advantage isn't going to be so hot for him in, as um, anymore and those DTs are just really putting in some work killing 9 kills so far and then he's 11 the workers killed are going to be fucking huge 90, 30, 30 damage he's following my, my army killing off all my Colossus but the Archons are going to be killing a few of his Vikings and I think units lost um, favoured me in that engagement even though he killed off all my Colossus but that's not how Protoss works. They need to be as efficient as possible with their area of effect damage, so losing that Colossus was a massive hit. I'm morphing in more of area of effect units. I've got the High Templar and the Colossus coming in. One more Colossus, a second Colossus coming in, and I really desperately need those extra units. These he's have to kill. That's a 14 kills! 46 workers have gone down for my opponent. Really, really big. Um, I didn't realise I killed that much in this game. That's impressive. All, I can, all I'm producing now, I just really need to stay alive. All I'm producing is these area of, of effect units. Just a few units to meet shields. And I'm coming in from two angles. I really need these storms to be massive. Will they be big? Will they be big? He's not focusing it down like he could. That was quite a big storm. Colossus are doing a lot of damage as well. There are no medivacs with energy. He didn't manage to focus down those units. Stimming would probably be a mistake. All those units would fall very fast if he stimmed there. And so that's enough to push back. I lose all my Colossus, however. The Zealot Archon pretty damn good against a weakened army. The units lost are going to be pretty silly. 
Um, actually, more lost for my opponent, but my opponent has lost a lot more, um, produced um, a lot more, and mined a lot more than me. Observer seeing the middle base here. Um, my opponent's still on more bases than me, but though most of his are mining out. Mine isn't, however, mining out. He's milled a lot more than me, so his minerals are going to mine out a lot faster than mine. And because uh, minerals are a lot more important for a, pro um, for a Terran player, that's pretty bad for him. But I have a hell of a lot of probes here, not doing anything useful. And somehow he has mines there, which is really fortunate for him, and this is going to be pretty massive. Uh, uh, not too bad, not too bad. That was a few kills. Quite a few zealots as well. Nine kills on that mine, one kill on that mine. Wow, that was pretty big, actually. I think that killed about another three or four zealots. So his mine's really paying off. Mine's really damn good against Protoss now. Another DC I've warped in. That one's killed five SCVs. And um, they're paying off quite well, SCVs. Um, SCVs are a lot harder to get for a Terran than a Protoss because Protoss can um, Chrono Boost out those probes when it needs to. So, really want to be cutting down on those workers. Units actually. Holy shit, he's only got 25 SCVs compared to my 61. Uh, I'm not producing any more probes, of course, because I've got way too many. 60 is. All you need in the game, really. Don't want any more than that. Um, if I had, if I was maxed out at this point, I might even consider throwing some um, probes away. But I'm not maxed. I've got really good upgrades now. Three, two, three, almost three, three, three. Some upgrades are gonna be really nice soon. Um, I see those high temp um, ghosts really nicely. Oh, not quite managing to kill the third one. Really good storm. Really good storm on the ramp. Will I get another one? No, I quite miffed that one. I remember uh, missing that because I thought the high temple that I had selected at that point was actually in my main. <laughs> so I didn't think um, I didn't think it would actually fire, which is a terrible, which is a terrible reason to whiff a storm like that. It was terrible. I was really annoyed at that point, which is why I'm probably going to make a lot more mistakes suddenly, <laughs> using a lot more probes. Um, units are going to have probably gone down. Yeah, 20 probes I lost, but I'm still way ahead of my opponent. I still have twice the worker lead. DT's re-putting in work. One DT killed three units. Probably all Marauders, actually, so very cost-efficient um, units. I think I'm going to be favouring my opponent here. He's on more bases than me now. I really need to just keep taking this fourth. Um, I might consider taking this fourth soon, or this fourth because this one's going to be attacked really quickly. The reason I'm taking this one is it allows me to abuse the high ground a bit, so... Uh, um, these chokes here, really good for the storm, so... I'm liking that. Seeing more DTs, I'm just trying to um, get myself back into this, to, to this game by harassing as much as possible. Luckily not using losing that um, Dark Templar straight away. I wish it was going to be a re really good aggressive tool so that I can poke in, um, maybe kill a base and recall back. I need to just make, to make all these opportunities happen, so I keep remaking that Modric Core as much as possible. I keep making DTs, and only the bare minimum for me to defend with just a few High Templar, a few Colossus. And this base is going to be denied again, and I'm not really mining very much. All my bases are mining out. Workers killed. Another six have gone down by this um, Dark Templar, and he's not only really mining from one base, but Mining from one base is more than enough because I'm mining from nothing, and he has mules. Mules in these situations are absolutely invaluable. It gives Terran a massive advantage in these sort of situations of low economy. Well, I just killed. Going to be pretty silly. Actually, I've killed more, which is very surprising. 67 workers down. DTs are absolutely invaluable. Need it. I would not be in this game if it wasn't for DTs. Trying to do as much damage as possible again. I've got that recall ready, so I'm going to try and snipe this base and then recall out. Um, when he repairs, hopefully repairs. That's going to be a lot of worker kills. More kills gone down. 75 now. And we've got to recall out of there as quickly as possible. And no! Don't quite manage it. But luckily I can walk out. I might lose my High Templar though, unfortunately. Which is going to be a killer. I need those High Templar. I need all those High Templar. Ah, almost had enough for a storm as well. Back home I have three High Templar. I'm going to need that to defend my new fourth. I don't think he knows about this fourth yet. No, he doesn't know that I've taken that fourth. So he's going to be pretty happy with himself. He thinks he's he's um, winning in this game. 
If he retakes this base, he's going to have income where I don't. But he doesn't know that this base is warping in. Hopefully he doesn't see the trail of um, probes long distance, mi long distance mining. Almost 40 probes long distance mining. It's actually giving me an okay income. Um, 200 minerals a minute. It's pretty, that's, that's massive in this situation. <laughs> Every minute I get two zealots, holy shit. Right. 28 mining, so it's highly oversaturated, but nothing else I can do really. I have a few handful of units. I need the High Templar. Where are the High Templar? One here, that almost has enough, storm, enough for storm. Another High Templar here, ready for storm. I'm gonna lose this base. I need these probes to not die, there's pretty much all my probes here. I need to send them, but I actually sent them up the ramp. Really good storm flanking here. But he actually has um, enough medevacs now for those storms to not be as effective. And unfortunately, too many medevacs means I'm going to lose this game. Even if I made Colossus, he has actually five Vikings, and I lose all my probes. Sitting on eight, whereas he's only got nine. <laughs> he's got no. He's only got four. Uh, he only had five SCVs mining, but it was enough to win the game. Mainly thanks to Mules, but he played really well, really good EMPs, and he and I'd say the one reason that made me come onto the back foot in this game was me not having observers here in that engagement where he EMPs my um, um, High Templar and I was forced to take an engagement here without Storm, and without Storm, process armies aren't very strong, especially when your opponent has Vikings and you have Colossus, so. A really good game, I hope you agree. I hope you enjoyed that. And I didn't stumble over myself too much when I was talking. <laughs> I see I'm very self conscious of that. Anyway. And uh Oh yeah, really unfortunate that my computer stopped working. I don't know what that was. I think I SC two takes up a lot of resources on my computer, so it freezes when I have fraps running. That's really killer, that's real killer. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad on the edit though. Anyway. I'll see you later. Goodbye.